Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time to drop the hammer. Good start for Stockton on the outside. 32 car, four wide, back in the field. Look out, Carson Short. Oh, came up across the racetrack. I thought we were going to stack him up down to turn number two. That's not the case. We race our way out. Stockton, your race leader. Chapel keeping him company in the number two spot. Follows down on the inside of the racetrack. Brady Bacon, three car breakaway. It's Jay Stockton maintains a little bit of an advantage, almost a second lead over the number two spot, Isaac Chapel. That lap traffic will, in doubt, no doubt, be a factor here very shortly. As 23, make that 22 laps to go that time by the starter stand. Brady Bacon has not been able to deal with Isaac Chapel like a thought. And here comes a slider out of Darlin. Woo, ambushed him down into the corner. And Darlin looking for that number five spot. And another 6D car picks off Justin Grant in the number four car. And Darlin starting to come towards the front. The racers got more starts in Indiana Sprint Week than any other racer on the racing surface at this point in time. Is starting to find some speed in the 36D car and is trying to run down those top positions. It's up front, your race leader still stocking. Bacon still following. Lap traffic now officially into the game plan. As Darlin, another slider on Isaac Chapel down into the corner. Dave Darlin picks off another spot in the 36D car. And Darlin's got the sleeves rolled up. Dave Darlin, the people's champ, making some big moves out of turn number two. And now Wyndham lies just ahead. Bacon with the run of your race lead out of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Jay Stockton doing a great job keeping the door closed. Bacon is going to drive down to the inside. He goes to P1 in the 99 car. The Macho Man takes over the point. Stockton back to the number two spot. Third is still Wyndham, but Darland is right there. Now Wyndham starting to get a little wily himself. Is taking a good look at the number 32 car down into turn number one and two. And Chris Wyndham, the number five car. Oh, he's kind of lays in the weeds in that number five car. You find him in the top five just about every time. And the defending national champ's got a good drive down the inside. The number 32 is going to hold him up. And here comes Darland in the 36D car. Closes within two car lengths down into turn number one and two. Back behind Grant. It's all by his lonesome just for the record. Tyler Courtney trying to get him within these clutches. As Wyndham looks down the inside, the number 32 down the front straightaway into the corner. Brady Bacon still well within striking distance of the three-car battle for the number two spot. But up front, it's going to be the white flag coming out for the Macho Man, Brady Bacon. Picked up a win at Eldora Speedway, did it again at Grandview Speedway. And he's looking for a third one here at Plymouth Speedway. Is out of turn number two and down the back straightaway he goes. And night number one of the NOS Energy Drink Indiana Sprint Week here at Plymouth Speedway is going to go to the Macho Man, Brady Bacon, picking up the win.